In this series, let's see how we can do visualization of data in Python. In Python, when it comes to visualization of the data, we have two main libraries that is Seaboard and Matplotlib. So, Seaboard is used to visualize the data, and Matplotlib is used to customize the chart created by Seaboard. So, let's see how we can visualize the data in Python. So, first, I will import all the necessary libraries like pandas, numpy, and Seaboard as SNS, and Matplotlib pyplot as a PLT. So, for visualization data, I need some data. So, this code is basically used to create some data. So, this created some data and it will convert that data into data frame. Then that's stored in a DF. So, if I now check for DF, it will give the data frame like this. So, this is my data frame how it looks like. So, it have category, age, income, score and savings. So, this is my data. So, if I want to visualize this, how can I do that? By using Seaborn and Matplotlib. So, first, let's see how we can visualize the count plot for this data. So, in this data, the count plot is basically used for the visualization of the count in the chart. So, in this data, I have the category with A, C and B and E. So, if I want to visualize this category in a chart, so I can use the count plot. So, I will first give the code to visualize this. So, I will use the Seaborn library. So, I have imported the Seaborn library with the alias of SNS. So, I will give the SNS, then the name of the chart that is count plot. The name of the chart is count plot. So, within parenthesis, I have to give the data. So, my data is df because that data is stored in this variable that is df. So, I have the to give the data as df then i have to give the x variable so in my case the x variable is the category so i have to give that in a double quote as category so if i give this as a category so let's see what will it give so this has visualized my data so it has you visualized that category in a count plot so count plot what basically do is it will count the number of occurrences of each variable like a in this data that we have a c and repeated so it will count the number of occurrences of a c b e and d and it will float in the chart so it will basically for for example if i use the df of so the df of the category okay df of the category then I will do value counts on that. If I do value counts, if I do value counts, it will give the values like D's occurred 23 times, A's occurred 21 times, B's occurred 20 times, E occurred 20 times, C occurred 16 times in this data frame. The same is visualized by using this count float. So, count float will count the number of occurrences of each data, then it will float in this chart. So, we can see A is 21 times. So, we can see it over here, it came nearly 21 times, and the C is occurred 16 times. We can see it in the float like it will come nearly 16 times. So, this is how we can use the count float to visualize the categorical data. So, it will basically for the how many times it occurs. So, in this chart, we can do, we can do some customization. So, for example, the A, C, B, D, E. It's not in order. It's it's not in order. It's not like A, B, C, D. So, if I want this in an order, how can I define that? So, if I want that in order, I have to give the order. So, if I give the order is equal to in a list. If I give the order is equal to first, I want A, then I want B. Then after that, I want C. After that, I want D. Then I want E. So if I give the order like this, the chart will comes in order. So if I now run this, so you can see this comes in order like A, B, C, D, E. So this is how we can give the order and get the chart. So if I want to add the title to this chart, so, for all the customization, we will use Matplotlib. As I said, for the customization of the chart, we will use Matplotlib. So, if I want to add the chart title, so I will use Matplotlib pyplot. So, I will 
use plt because i have called it as a plt as an alias so i will use plt dot in order to add title i have to give title within the bracket i will give the title of this chart so i will give the title as the category count so category underscore count so if i now run this i will get the title for this chart like this so like this we can add the x-axis title y-axis title and we can rotate this title also by using pi plot that is from matplotlib so this is how we can plot the count plot by using seaborn library by using this simple code that is sns the dot count plot within that we have to give the data then we have to give the x-axis that is in this case i have the x-axis as category then count plot will count the number of occurrences of each unique value and it will plot in the chart so this is about this video in the next video we will see some more charts by using seaborn so thank you for watching stay tuned